Hi everyone, Arjun page today. I'm working in my book that I altered into an art journal and I have already have this spread a gesso to prepare for what I'm going to do and I just have a vague idea what I want to do and I knew I wanted this saying so I already printed it and glued it here. Now what I do want to do I don't know if you can see because we don't have daylight right now <laughs> so uh, I want to take a little bit of gesso and go over uh, here where I have the white page for my printer paper <clears throat> just to uh, make it blend a little bit and uh, less stand out so I'm just going to take a little bit of gesso like on the tip of a paintbrush and with my finger just going over it so it will blend into the background it's not really a it's not super important but if I can make it merge uh, better then I'm all for it <laughs> so I just wanted to place it and as I said try and blend it a little bit but not really a, it's not crucial <laughs> basically nothing is crucial uh, when you're playing in your art journal so that's a, about the, this now I want to lay some uh, color on my uh, double spread and I've got this uh, watercolors these are metallic colors I've picked it in some cheap store you not even here in I don't even <laughs> don't remember where I was in Europe where I found it it was supposed to be for kids and uh, that's what I'm going to use I'm uh, just taking a brush with a little bit of water and I'm aiming for the yellows and I just want some splotches <laughs> that's the best I can uh, explain of color in the background and it's quite random and I'm I really want it to be subtle this is just so I won't have stark white and maybe I will even uh, take a little bit of plain uh, watercolors to add to the mix and live uh, still uh, have this to have some uh, shimmer in the background so I'm keeping it in the yellows and this is supposed to be some I don't know a uh, copper no a uh, bronze but it's it's really uh, subtle I think as I said this is just the base quite random don't really care and I'm also trying to make a, a blend between but most of it is going to get covered, it's just going to uh, peek through. So, really doesn't matter. Maybe I'll add a little bit of the orange here. Just a little bit. I hope you can see what's going on here I'm quite worried that because I don't have daylight then the lightning is not enough to see what I'm doing I will a uh, I'll light I'll turn on a 
a light fixture I have here and we'll see if then visibility is better okay let's see if we light on oh my god so much glare okay <laughs> we'll try to work like this so just adding I think the orange gave life to this uh, page so quite nice and I'm just adding several places because it uh, it really is subtle and as I say don't really care quite uh, random this whole thing yeah okay so uh, this needs to dry before I'm uh, attempting anything I'll try and bring it closer in hopes that you can see what, what I've done and I'm going to let it dry I'll be back I'm back and I've arranged for more light I hope now you will see what I'm doing and I will see what I'm doing and this is uh, the beginning of my background now I've got this stencil and I've got all this uh, distress ink uh, by Tim Holtz. I've got here a barn door, spiced marmalade, a fossilized amber, and I'm not sure yet but if I will use it, but I have picked a raspberry. So I'm going to start, I think, with this, and I'm just taking a, some a makeup sponge, and let's see, I want it like this and here we go I'm starting with the darker color and I'm trying to avoid reaching uh, here because I don't want a straight line okay and going now for this one I'm also going on top of the red just to mix them a little bit and now for this yellow yeah let's see oh I like it so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this spray bottle with water and I'm going to spray this a little bit like so and I'm going to flip it here and press it down with a paper towel. And I've got a little bit of impression but not what I was uh, having in mind <laughs> so I'm going to uh, just dab it so it won't be wet so I can uh, keep on doing this instead of flipping it over not not worth it so just going to dry my stencil so I can continue it didn't work as I thought it would Maybe if I hadn't had gesso, it would have taken a uh, better. So uh, again, same thing. I'm starting with a darker color and quite random and just trying to avoid going where my I have the straight lines.
just a little bit more yeah so I'm going to keep doing this and again here Switching. Same thing we've done. Just trying to be more quick about it. Mm, let's do another one here. Good enough. And just a little bit here So now I'm thinking, I really like it, but it, it turned out like four blocks of uh, this and I want some random, uh, random hearts uh, all around and I'm thinking that I just need to take some paper and cut a heart out of didn't turn out like I wanted let's see <laughs> I need something more yeah now it would be easier and let's do another one I'm using the curve of the scissors so it makes it easier yeah so I really uh, like the yellow and the orange. I think I'll do some orange hearts. Yeah. And I'm doing them in between to break these blocks. So it would be more organic and here is the yellow let's do some random again so you see for something like this you don't need a fancy a stencil you can do your own it's just printer paper that I folded and uh, cut and I want more of the orange so add some red ones yeah let's do 
do one here and I like to go uh, over the edges and just another one so we've got lots and lots of hearts flying around my page <laughs> I really hope that now with the light you can see what I've done because it's really a well it's happy a lot of happy is going here with all these colors so uh, moving this and now I want to stamp I've got this stamp and I like it because it's not kitschy heart it's a uh, not symmetrical and maybe go for broke and use this there a big plastery just add something else to the mix yeah go big or go home Ooh. quite festive And now I want to stamp around with this uh, one. And what color should I take? I've got another red. I've got this Press Oxide uh, Candied Apple. Let's try this one. Again, random. This is just added interest to my background. And sometimes it's just so much fun to make a mess. I think I'll go over this one. Yeah. As I said, making a mess. a little bit off yeah okay so now I'm going to give everything here a very big blast from my heat tool so uh, everything will be set and won't smear and then I'll come back for my next layer I'll be back I'm back and now I want to stamp uh, some silhouettes uh, here, so I'm going to use, of course, black. And I want some, uh, well, vegetation, I don't know, <laughs> some weeds <laughs> to be on my page. And that's how I store some of my um, stamps. Uh, basically, uh, it's in a folder with this kind of uh, thing. I've got here some uh, acetate which uh, the stamps cling to and most of the time sometimes they just don't want to stay in place and I've got a uh, some uh, paper b uh, underneath just so I can see what's going on so I'm going to start with this stamp and like so I'm using tuxedo black by Momento I'm trying to put uh, ink on my stamp without uh, also coloring uh, the block and it's kind of going to be quite whimsical and uh, as you could have guessed from this font I've used here so quite a whimsical page and the stamp uh, didn't stamp so great but uh, I'm going to go over what I want uh, in later with some permanent uh, marker. Okay, this one turned out better. Let's do just another one. 
again trying <laughs> I don't want a complete a uh, black mess here so I'm trying to be careful yeah so switching for something else let's see I like this one Basically, this uh, stem it doesn't matter. I can do it by hand uh, later on. I can probably stamp only the head of this whatever flower or whatever it is. <laughs> so maybe that's what I need to do and use a smaller acrylic block to make my uh, life easier. So removing this taking another one like so and I'll just do the stem later with some permanent marker yeah yeah oh I like it So I'm just going to switch between all of these, uh, I don't know, with stamps. <laughs> so <laughs> don't know what to call them. Grass. It'll be difficult to stamp here on my book. I've got lots and lots of stuff here. Okay. Switching again. Just so we'll have more interest. Here where the fold is, it's the worst in terms of stamping. There is another uh, way to go about it. I could take um, the white backing from a paper napkin, stamp on it, and then glue it to the page. But I'm just going with the flow right now. Good enough for me right now and let's see so what else do I have here that I can play with um, well I can I have this one which, which gives them, it's the same like this, only smaller, and I don't have to worry about the stem. I can just print it wherever I want. Lots and lots of nice dots. Okay, so I'm going to continue stamping around, it's, it takes time, and I'll be back. Uh, 
I'm back. So, went to town with all this stamping around, and as you can see, I've added all over and a dragonfly here just because it's whimsical and I just love all this happy mess. And now I just want to uh, ink around the edges. I've got here ground espresso, distress ink, and this blending tool or whatever. I thought about using the black because I stamped with black all over my page, but I thought it would be just too much the black edges, so I went with this dark brown. So just going around my page and I've just put this here to give me some uh, control because that's the end of my book and I need something to support it well I am putting a little bit of pressure here still feels, although I've uh, used my heat tool, it still feels a little bit tacky and wet, all this ink, and so I'm really trying to go around without smearing everything, trying, let's hope. going in a little bit more here just so it will give some kind of base I'm not gentle I'm not trying to be subtle about it I really want to have nice adding to my page to frame everything in yeah so let's see Just a little bit more in several places and basically this is it that's my happy mess for today and I hope you liked it uh, thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now